Hey guys, before the video starts, I think it's about time for me to announce the art contest winners. And for the people that really wanted to participate in this art contest but didn't manage to, but it's alright. Maybe someday I'll do another art contest, if any of you are interested. But anyways, let's get right to the winners. Alright, first place goes to Tiffany Fisher. I gotta say, I love this. This right here was absolutely amazing. I love this. And second place goes to Emerald Alex 12. Thank you. This right here, oh man, this capture it, captures it so very good. Oh man, that, that, that was good. And third place goes to Boy Galaga 101. I absolutely like this. This looks like that I'm just, you know, I'm just going to be moral combating, <laughs> fatality Jeffy right here. I love this. This is actually really good. So that is all three of the winners. Now let's go to the people that participate and will receive a shout out. Boxy the Master. Thank you for this art. This actually, oh wow. I'm not going to lie, this is really gruesome, but pretty cool at the same time. And Sonic Toons art. You know what? You know what, this looks pretty cool. I gotta say, <laughs> you did you did a pretty good job with this. Even though that's not actually me strangling Jeffy, but... I mean, eh, at least it's Jeffy getting what he deserves. <laughs> so basically, yeah. Congratulations to the three art contest winners. The winners will actually receive, you know, three prizes. But anyways, please let me know if you guys wanna, you know, want to select your prize or anything like that. Please, you know, please message me on my other social medias to reclaim your prize. Well, anyways, thank you so much for joining me on this art contest. This was a lot of fun to do, and, you know, I really hope I'll do another one, because basically, yeah, I had fun with this one. Hopefully, in the future, I'll do another one. Hopefully, one day when I reach to 1K subscribers. If I ever reach up to 1K subscribers, oh man. I hope you guys will be excited for that, for that in the future. But anyways, thank you guys so very much for joining. This was a lot of fun. So anyways, let's get right to the video. Hey guys, well, never thought I would ever come back to, you know, making videos on SML again. Because <laughs> SML is too overwhelming for me. But anyways, yeah, it's nice to see you guys again, and well, yeah, I never thought I would be back doing SML related content, but, but this is actually a very serious thing that I really want to talk about SML. This is a problem with SML I want to discuss. Basically, we all know SML's character development problem. And oh boy! SML has been having character development problem ever since 2017. Because the SML characters have no character development whatsoever. Starting off with Jeffy. During SML movie, Jeffy's parents, Jeffy did say that he would be a good boy and all that crap. If you don't believe me, then look at this clip. Yeah, it's just, I, I think foster care would be best. Daddy, please let me live with you. I promise I'll be the bestest boy ever. So that was a fucking lie. So basically, yeah, Jeffy did say he would be a good boy and Jeffy was supposed to have character development, but no, Logan of course threw it all away and revert Jeffy back to his scummy, jackass, annoying self. And this isn't the only thing that Logan did. This isn't, this isn't the only character development problem. It happens with, you know, certain amount of characters like, you know, Goodman's son Richard and Bowser Jr., the list goes on. 
none of these characters have character development. Being a scummy jackass does not, you know, count as character development, Logan. Ever thought of that? Like, for example, Jeffy promised to be a good boy and to be a good character and behave for like, I don't know how many videos, but because I lost count. And let's not forget about Junior's 11th birthday. Junior was going to be getting character de development, but in the next SML video, this piece of garbage of video, I should say, has literally threw it all away. So yeah, Logan. You're just really just running out of ideas that you're just going to be recycling it, all of your crappy ideas that you're just going to be pulling out of your ass for some odd reason. And we all know that you're desperate and running out of ideas. Like, we always know about this, like, since 2017. You are always running out of ideas and you always have to bring back dead jokes and have to recycle, you know, plots and all that crap in your, in your videos. Like, that's not creativity at all, Logan. That's just you being a lazy ass. And if you guys don't know what character development is, okay, character development is, is basically, you know, if a character has a lot of experiences and learns about themselves, the characters beca become to change and, you know, and become, you know, better for themselves. Like, for example, Owl House and Amphibia. Those shows, oh my gosh, the amount of character development in those shows is just mwah, absolutely phenomenal. Like, I would suggest you guys go watch those shows. They're absolutely amazing. Like, the character development in these shows are absolutely amazing. And Amphibia has literally shown us the importance of character development. It really has. And for example, with, you know, with Owl House, literally Luce and Amity used to be enemies, but nowadays they are lovers. So basically, yeah, that is like really serious character development right there. That is character development. And, you know, during Jeffy's 18th birthday, I was hoping that Mario and Jeffy would, you know, would be able to have a actual character development, maybe give them a father and son relationship now instead of Jeffy, you know, annoying the absolute living crap out of him all the time and Mario always, you know, yelling at Jeffy and all that crap and feeding him green beans and shit. Oh, Jeffy, what was that? It's my beaver toy. He shoots balls. Don't shoot me with that again, okay, Jeffy? Ah, oh my god, my balls! Marvin, are you okay? He shot me in the nuts, baby. Jeffy, if you do that again, you're grounded. Okay, I understand. Uh, that really worked? See, Marvin, a little gentle parenting is all it takes. You don't have to yell all the time. I guess you're right. Ah, all right, that's it, Jeffy. You're grounded. Then you better not have clogged the toilet. Don't get mad. I'm trying to fix it. Jeffy, what are you doing? Well, I pooped in the toilet, and the poop clogged the toilet, and then it started overflowing, so I put a lot of toilet paper in there to try to suck up all the water, but it keeps getting stuck. Jeffy, you're clogging the toilet even more. Well, I can't win, so I'm just going to cry. <laughs> Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeffy. But, yeah, no. Obviously, that's not what happened. To be honest, I was hoping for Jeffy to be gone during Jeffy's 18th birthday, but knowing Logan, that's never going to happen. But Logan has a chance to give Jeffy character development. But where's the character development, Logan? There's none character development. You keep decreasing and keep, you know, downgrading these characters. You keep making them worse and worse and worse. Like Joseph, for an example. Joseph's character actually used to be very much interesting. Like Joseph, he was just not that much of a side character at all. He's just, you know, a character that likes basketball and likes to prove himself, you know, that he's an athlete and he has a lot of dreams. And basically, yeah, and Joseph basically has a dark history and a story with him and his mom that, you know, that we don't know about, that we could just, you know, put the pieces together and all that stuff. And basically, yeah, like, Joseph has had a dark, you know, history that it gives him a dark past which makes his character more interesting. But nowadays, yeah, nowadays Joseph is just a black stereotype character that keeps bringing up racism and just decides to be, you know, tries to act like a victim every time he brings up racism. Because basically, yeah... 
Joseph is just a narcissistic hypocrite, just like Junior is. And Junior, oh boy, I don't know where to start with Junior's character. His character is just absolutely disgusting. Like, okay, Junior... Junior is a sexist and a lying hypocrite and basically a bully towards Cody. Like seriously, like Cody gets absolutely tortured by Junior and Joseph. Like for real. Like this is literally Logan's fetish. Like he doesn't want to give these characters any character development because Logan wants to keep up with his, with his, you know, his weird ass, you know, Character torture fetish for some odd reason, because Logan is, of course, running about, out of ideas. He's just gonna keep pulling, you know, pulling bullshit out of his ass every time. This is Logan we're talking about. Logan, he's uncreative, and he'll never come up with anything good or original. And he's always gonna be lazy, and he's just <clears throat> not gonna learn from his mistakes at all, and he's not even gonna listen to the SML critics. So... Basically, yeah, this is why I'm I'm almost about to quit SML, because basically Logan became so sensitive to negative feedback and criticisms that he stopped listening to his actual, real fans that have been supporting him since day one. Like, that's a real huge issue and a huge problem. Instead, Logan listens to the spoiled Jeffy fanboys. That basically been, you know, been using Logan and taking him for granted and basically been death writing him for the past years. And to be honest, Logan is just a lost cause nowadays. So I don't know why we even bother trying to help Logan. Because Logan is a lost cause, it's true. Logan can't come up with anything good or original anymore. And he can't listen to his fans anymore. At all. So what's even the point of supporting SML if Logan's not going to actually listen to his real fans and he's not going to listen to negative criticisms? Like seriously, Logan, all we want is good quality, variety, and we want actual character development in these videos and not have anything re you know, repetitive or filler, okay? This is all we are asking for, but no, you're not giving this to us because basically you're just, you know, you're just doing whatever the hell you want and, you know, just not giving a fuck at all. And it just really proves how much of a scumbag you are, Logan, okay? You're a father right now, and you need to act like an adult. You don't know what you're doing at all, and basically, yeah, you're just ignoring the problems that are surrounded by you, and it's just getting out of hand. So yeah, this is basically what I think about, this pro about these problems and situations. The character development situation and the whole entire repetitive and filler content that Logan keeps doing and blah 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 and the recycled plots and jokes. It's just getting it's just getting out of hand. It just really is. Just Logan needs to grow up and needs to start acting like an adult. That's just what I, I'm just saying. I'm just running out of ideas right now. What to say. Because right now SML, I'm just getting over with SML, and SML is just, yeah. SML has just been turning into a real shit show. Like, Logan, like, for real, Logan keeps making promises that he can't keep because he thinks that these promises are just, you know, are just, you know, just silly jokes or whatever, but no. These are actual promises, Logan, that you kept to your fans who love and support you. And now these fans are just going to lose your trust if you keep doing this. This isn't right at all. And I keep stating in the past that Jeffy has been causing a lot of problems and so have the Jeffy fanboys. The Jeffy fanboys should be removed from, S from the SML community, which I very much, like, I really, 
really would highly recommend for Jeffy to actually, oh, I don't know, maybe have character development and maybe Junior and Joseph and all the other characters. And hell, even maybe Mario and Rosalina as well. Like, they deserve some character development, for, for crying out loud. Not Just not have them as, you know, as, you know, jackass characters that just strap hate each other. This isn't Family Guy, Logan. This isn't Family Guy. Because I know how garbage Family Guy is nowadays, because Family Guy basically has no character development, and they keep recycling all the plots and all the, you know, all the stupid crap they do, like, you know, like Quagmire hating on Brian, and Bonnie and Joe hating their relationship, and Peter and Lois hating their relationship, the list goes on. Basically, yeah, like, that's why I stopped watching Family Guy years ago. Like, season 16 was literally the season that just ruined Family Guy for me, to be honest. I just literally stopped watching Family Guy ever since season 16. Like, I just stopped caring about Family Guy, and the show's just not good to me anymore. And basically, yeah, Logan is just going to the Family Guy, you know, route right now. And it's just really sad. It just really is. But anyways, yeah, guys. This is basically my whole entire criticisms and my opinions and my thoughts on this whole entire SML, you know, character development, you know, problems and situation. Logan just really needs to start acting like an adult. Because this right here just... Yeah, this is just not worth it at all. And basically, I'm just losing interest in SML because of all of this. So basically, yeah. But anyways, yeah, it is hard to trust SML nowadays. And especially that, that you know, that junior, basically, okay, in the SML video, Groundhog's Day, okay, basically junior kind of learned character development or whatever, but let's see how that will last. That's not gonna last forever. Just the next video, Junior's gonna be going back to the, you know, the Cody's mom fat jokes and, and you know, gonna be making fun of Cody and gonna be a sexist asshole all the time, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, for real, Logan, just, just grow up. Because literally, the Cody, the Cody's mom jokes have overstayed its welcome and same goes to the Green Beans jokes and everything. Like, everything that you've done, it just overstayed its welcome. It's time for something new and just something original, okay? Because literally, this is just getting out of hand. We just want something new and actually something creative. Just please, add more variety, add more quality, and especially add more character development. Stop downgrading your characters, Logan. Please. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. And basically, yeah, this is what, what I have to say about all of these SML problems and situations and the character, you know, situ the character development situation and all of that. But anyways, it's it's pretty good, great to you know be back on on doing, you know, SML related videos. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time and goodbye.